Alright, hey guys, I'm gonna be trying something new this video. Firstly, if you haven't seen SSSS.Gridman, then I recommend going to watch it now. This video is gonna be very spoiler heavy, so if you haven't seen it, then I recommend you go watch it. Secondly, this is not a Brawlhalla video or a Brawlhalla montage or any of that stuff, but there is a Brawlhalla montage I probably just put out with this video that I will be linking in the description for you guys if you guys wanted to see that instead. That being said, if you're still sticking around, then uh, I hope you guys enjoy. S S S S S. Wait, is that too many S's? Quadruple S. Gridman is one of the greatest animes I have ever seen. The characters are likable and not so easily forgettable. The storyline flows very well without too many cuts here or there, and the show is very aesthetically pleasing to the eyes and ears. Now, a lot of people might say they enjoy this show because of the fight scenes. And to that I say, fair point, the fight scenes were actually phenomenal and I really enjoyed them. But I actually find the main selling point of this anime has to be the storyline. While the narrative does primarily revolve around Utah, Akane actually takes the show herself. And by several miles. At first glance, this might look like your typical anime. You have your team with an innocent, yet heroic protagonist. You got his quirky comedic relief best friend. And oh my god, we have Rika Takarada! A top tier main love interest. Yuta becomes grid man and saves the world, which is all fine and dandy until you realize that isn't really what it's about. Quadruple S. Gridman tells the story of Akane and how, feeling isolated and alienated by the real world, she escapes into her imaginary ideal world with her ideal imaginary friends. <laughs> they hate it. <laughs> now, to her credit, Akane is incredibly kind and forgiving and charismatic. To start it off, right here, she shares a special dog with Yuta, but unfortunately, Tankawa makes a little bit of an oopsie. Now, Akane being the forgiving person she is, she creates a giant monster and just murders her and blows up the entire school. Luckily, Yuta's here to become Gridman and save the day. <laughs> then they died. But it doesn't matter anyways because everybody just comes back and gets ready for school. And yet they're all surprised that the school's there. We find out later through this top tier demonstration that Akane was the one that rebuilt it. Now this scene is essential. The biggest plot twist of the show. Oh my god, why would she ever Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe what is going on. This was an actual cut. Now at this scene, Akane realizes she's been in love with Yuta all this time. So she makes her way to the Gridman Alliance hideout that she could have gotten to at any time by the way, and flings herself into Yuta, hoping to be embraced by his charismatic arms. But then uh, she forgot she had the knife in her hands from when she was carving out the previous kaiju, and accidentally stabs him. <laughs> SSSS.Gridman is a show that tells a devastating story about a girl who feels so alienated in real life that she can only find sanctuary in her own imaginary world, and how she realizes she needs to move on in life, to wake up, and learn to trust people in order to move forward. Say what you want, but the truly devastating ending has got to be Utsumi's self-realization. <laughs> 